barbecue sauce. Just that. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I decided to hit one of my barbecue spots, man. Uh, it's a food truck in Fort Pierce uh, called Chef Dance. If you guys are from the area, you know what I'm talking about, man. I'm going to head over there, man, and get me some good old-fashioned barbecue. Um, I don't know what I want yet. But I guess we'll see when I get there, right? So we're going to head over there now, guys. Grab us something to grub on real quick. And I'll meet you guys there. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. All right, guys, so I went ahead and got the uh, the chicken dinner with my barbecue sauce on the side so I can put what I want. You know, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I got. Um, I got a chicken dinner with the two sides. I decided to get the mac and cheese uh, and the fries. But I'm going to let you guys check it out real quick. So the reason I got my barbecue sauce on the side uh, instead of on top is because, you know, I, I also like to put my fries in barbecue sauce. So I wanted to have it on the side so I can pick and choose just how much I want to put on there. You know how I am about choices, right? So uh, I was actually going to go uh, somewhere else at first, right? But the reason I changed my mind is because... I. When I pull up, right, okay, I'm okay with a line. Like, I don't mind waiting or whatever because I feel like it's most of the time it's worth it. You know, you have a line in a lot of places because you get ready to get some good food. The problem I have is when you have multiple people at an establishment when there's a line, but nobody want to help when there's only one person taking the order. I can't stand it. Like, you got to think about your customers, right? So me i wouldn't put anybody on the front line if i knew they couldn't handle the fast traffic so i feel bad when it's one person working and then you got like nine people outside and then it's like six people behind and they talk and they laugh and carry on i mean anybody can be on break don't get me wrong right but there has to be some type of consideration whether it's for your employee or whether it's for your customers you know what i'm saying so i just was like nah man i'm out you know what i'm saying and it's not you know his fault but I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I got other things I got to do too. You know, people feel like just because you eat, uh, or because you hungry, like, oh, you'll wait. Nah, man, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? So I left and was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Chef Dad's, man. Chef Dad going to take care of me. And that's what they did. So again, like I told you guys, every day I'm going to drop a word. Today's word is patience. Okay. In everyday life, you got to have patience. I don't have a lot, but I'm learning, okay? It's a gradual process, and it'll happen over time. So I'm trying to get there. But you know whenever you're trying to accomplish something, a goal in life, or, or get somewhere, there's always going to be obstacles. There's always going to be challenges. There's always, always going to be something uh, that stands in your way. You know what I mean? So I'm pushing through it, you know what I mean? But we definitely have to have patience. Uh, just people in general, man. You know, what they say, the, the saying is, good things come to those who wait, right? So just to be patient and we'll wait and work it all out you know what i mean so with that being said you guys have been patient enough i'm gonna go ahead and dig into this food for y'all man look at that that's a heavy plate bro i'm about to go in you know that right so let me pop over my sauce so i gotta get saucy i got my chicken and my chicken's hot, man, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they, they make it fresh for you, which is which y'all know I already like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's good barbecue sauce. Then I like the fact, too, you know, some places have your fries ready. 
And then they'll be fresh. They make you food and they say, oh, we're just waiting on your fries. Hey, man. Y'all sleep on the mom and pop places. Those are the ones that take care of you, though. Remember I said that? They the ones that take care of you. You know, over anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that real? So. Chef Dad, you guys ever in Fort Pierce? You gotta check them out. You won't be disappointed, man. You can tell when you're at them down south places too because they always give you that bread, you know what I'm saying? It ain't the same if you ain't got your bread. to get under your skin. That's the person that's going to test you the most. And for some people, it's their kids. He ain't lying. Some people, it's their spouse. A lot of people, it's their job or their boss. You know, for younger people, it could be their teachers. You know what I'm saying? But even though we all face different challenges, we all run into the same problem. trying to be patient. We're trying to do things right. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to be humble. But somebody always trying you. It's life, man. But, you know, you have the opportunity of changing that. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be that way. True enough, we can't control people's actions, but we can control our reaction. You're a goddamn genius. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. You are goddamn gifted. So remember that if you don't remember anything else. You can't control everyone's actions, but you can control your reaction. Y'all heard that first from your brother's girl, man. I told you it's nothing like food, man. Food, food. Make everything good, you know? Shout out Chef Dad's, man. Y'all hit the spot for me. Y'all get a tear from your boy. All day. So, you guys ever in the Fort Pierce area, definitely check them out. I'm going to finish my food. As y'all can see, I ain't got no patience. Until next time, you guys, don't forget to comment. Let me know, you know, uh, what good barbecue places in your area. You know, I'll check them out, man. That's what I do. Until then, be patient. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, man, hit that notification bell, guys, for all my content. It's your boy, the one and only, Mr. Grub. I'm out. <laughs>